Hello, it's Rebecca here from Precious Pages Papercraft and today I am playing along with the weekly sketch challenge over at Lottie Loves Paper. So here's the sketch. I'm using the When We First Met collection by P13. It's a new collection to me, I um, only got it recently but enjoying it, it's totally different to my normal style um, but I just really fancied a bit of a change so um, I'm giving this a go. So I loved the sketch as soon as I saw it and had loads of ideas whizzing through my head. Um, and you know those days when you sit down at your desk and you start your layout and everything goes perfectly to plan and everything works first time? Well, this was not one of those days. Everything that could have gone wrong with this layout did. So um, this video is a bit of a comedy of errors. As you saw there, I couldn't even tear my paper how I wanted it. So. Uh, I was doomed from the start really. I just could not get it right or how I wanted it. I think my problem is the strip of flowers I'm using to go down the centre of my um, layout is very narrow. So I really wanted it thicker but obviously that is the pattern so um, I can only work with what I've got. But it just meant that I just could not tear these papers. I've ended up cutting a section off here and I'm still fiddling with it. So eventually I get there, but um, yeah, it took me a lot longer than it should have done to tear a bit of paper in half and distress some edges. <laughs> and then I decided to um, put some double-sided tape on the back and my tape got all tangled and started coming away and oh, just disaster, honestly. And then I decided I didn't actually want that there. I wanted to put foam pads there and raise those inside edges up. So I had to tear it all back off. Honestly, you, you just can't write it. Everything went wrong with this layout. So I finally got all that double-sided tape off. I'm adding foam pads to those um, torn and distressed edges. And then I'm going to add uh, double-sided tape around the other edges just to stick these patterned papers down to my white cardstock that I've got underneath and that was simply just to make sure my layout was still 12 by 12. These papers are actually really thick so I could have got away with just sticking the floral bit to the back of my um, background paper and just using that as it was um, but I used the white sheet just for ease really to make sure it was 12 by 12 and I actually have the right hand section there is um, slightly to the right so it's larger than 12 by 12 and my plan was just to trim that down at the end. So I couldn't get that bit in the right position either so we had to rip that off and try again. <laughs> so there it is in place now and I'm going to have these um, other two sections of paper stuck either side of that. I'm still not entirely happy and trying to distress the edges to open them out a bit more to have some more of that floral paper revealed but obviously it's a narrow strip so I could only pull the um, paper back so far. And then I've got some papers in the collection here I'm going to fussy cut some um, florals from to make some embellishments. Um, I do several clusters in the end. Some of the pattern papers in this collection are brilliant for fussy cutting. So I used most of the back sheet I've um, just fussy cut. And then I'm using my title here, Treasured Memories, which is the center of one of the three by four cut apart pieces. I've just cut the middle out there and I'm just going to distress the edge and use it as a paper layout behind my photo, along with another three by four card. It's got an aeroplane on it and I'm never likely to use that for anything else. So I'm just going to use that as a layer behind my photo.
So because I've distressed those edges and rolled them back so much, I'm having to use um, adhesive foam tape behind my photo to pop that section in the middle up that sits above the floral paper just um, so that it sat nicely and wasn't curved at all. And then I'm just working on my clusters here, um, looking at the sketch and trying to decide where I want them. I'm going to have a couple of the florals on top of my photo and then I'm going to have the um, leaves and a couple of the flowers stuck down flat to my background. Just having to raise those clusters up on foam pads as well to bring them to the same layer or the same level as my photo. And then I have to go back in and add a second one because it wasn't quite high enough. So now I'm just working on my title. I'm distressing the edges here with a distressing tool and I'm just going to um, position those there to the bottom right of my photo. I did consider fussy cutting beautiful day from that cut apart piece there but I decided it was a bit too big for this layout. I didn't want it to overbear my photo. I'm having to stick a lot of foam behind these to raise them up in the centre um, again because I've distressed the edges of that paper and rolled it back. Um, this was just another nightmare, I <laughs> just had to keep adding foam and taking it away and gluing it. I got there in the end, but um, it took me a lot longer than it should have done really. And once I'm happy that all of that is stuck down and in place, um, I just go through some little embellishment packs I've got here. So I've got some tags, some round tags, um, I've also got some stickers. So I'm just having a look through to see what I want to add. I felt like because I had all those floral clusters on the left hand side, I needed something on the right hand side of my layout to balance it out. Um, it's not on the sketch and looking at the sketch it doesn't look like it needs anything to balance it out and I really love the sketch as it is but once I'd actually pieced my layout together I felt like I needed something over there so I'm using one of the tags and one of the round floral um, tags I'm going to raise the tag up on foam pad there and then I'm just going to bring in one of the smaller circular stickers as well and pop that on top Just sticking some foam pads under that circle, uh, just in time for my final error of this layout. Um, I went to turn it over to cut those pieces off and then remembered that I was supposed to trim the right hand side of my layout down to bring it back to 12 by 12. So I had to completely tear that cluster off, trim my page down and then um, stick that down again. So um, yeah, lots of errors today, lots of faffing about. Um, maybe I just shouldn't scrapbook late at night. It's uh, late on a Friday night and I should probably just go to bed. <laughs> but that's the layout finished. I'm just distressing a few edges there and I'll leave you with some close-ups. So thank you very much for joining me. Head over to the Lottie Love Paper community Facebook group if you'd like to see the um, weekly sketches and join along yourself.